Earth is the only place humans know. It is the only life-sustaining planet in our known universe. But for millennia, the world was much more limited than ours is today, confined to the boundaries of people and practices. However, in the late 19th century, a group of elites ushered in a change, transforming those confinements and breaking open the doors to vast exploration, a host of new encounters, and global exchange. On the cold winter's day of January 13, 1888, 33 educated elites gathered at the Cosmos Club in Washington, D.C., with the intention of forming a society to focus on geographical knowledge. After 14 days of discussion on January 27, 1888, they signed a Certificate of Incorporation, officially forming the National Geographic Society. From this date onward, the National Geographic Society expanded cultural and explorative barriers by promoting and facilitating expeditions globally, sparked encounters between cultures through international outreach, and revolutionized the exchange of information by establishing multiple media platforms to share existing and recent discoveries. In October of 1888, nine months after the Society's establishment, the first issue of the National Geographic magazine was published, introducing the Society's first medium of informational exchange. Within this magazine, Gardner Green Hubbard, who was elected the first president of the Society, published an introductory address in which he states the purpose of the organization to be for the increase and diffusion of geographical knowledge. A 1913 issue illustrates the new opportunities to explore that the National Geographic Society provided, as well as the interconnectivity allowed between people and those exploring. The issue, dedicated entirely to one article in the Wonderland of Peru, was written by Hiram Bingham, who ventured into the highlands of Peru and discovered the legendary Inca city, Machu Picchu. Readers within the United States now had the ability to learn about the history and geography of a place they could have never reached before. In 1914, the National Geographic Society took another step in exploring new ways of exchanging information. A photograph taken by Paul Guillemet entitled A Flower Garden in Ghent was the first naturally colored image to be printed in the magazine. The photograph held no connection to the content surrounding it. It only demonstrated the ability of the society to utilize recently developed technology to share a more realistic world with the United States populace. Two years later, the National Geographic Society encouraged the creation of a National Park Service, the main argument being to conserve the natural beauties and wildlife of America in the face of economic and industrial growth. In the following months of that same year, Congress began work with Gilbert H. Grosner, the future president of the Society, to draft the legislation establishing the National Park Service. The Society used its national influence based out of their magazine to spread support of environmental conservation nationwide and establish a new government agency that continues to last today. For decades to come, National Geographic continued to build its credibility through countless magazine publications and proved ready to adapt and grow in the coming of the 1960s, a period of change and development in the world. In 1964, National Geographic published an article titled Footprints on the Moon, detailing NASA's plans for the first moon landing. Published during the height of the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States, the article provided insight into the developments occurring in the aerospace field and sparked greater public interest for the topic. Similarly, in the early 1960s, Jane Goodall, a young woman from England, embarked on a research journey to Gombe National Park that would fascinate the world. She had been sent by renowned anthropologist Dr. Lewis Leakey, who then approached the National Geographic Society about supporting Jane's work. The articles featured in National Geographic became an international sensation. Interest in the subject skyrocketed as Jane Goodall found a strong global platform to exchange her research with others. Likewise, Jacques Cousteau, an oceanographic researcher and inventor of early scuba diving technology, experienced an increase in attention following his collaboration with National Geographic. Receiving 37 grants from the Society and publishing a dozen articles, his work would not have been possible nor as recognizable throughout the world today were it not for the National Geographic Society. 
Following the expansion of television, National Geographic entered the medium by partnering with CBS in 1965 to produce television specials providing background on popular stories from the magazine. These efforts include a special on Jane Goodall, bringing even more publicity to her research. Jane becomes a star. She and her beloved chimps, David Graybeard, Flo, and Flint become known worldwide. The Society did face controversy over a 1982 cover of the Giza Pyramids, when it was revealed that the photograph had been manipulated to make the pyramids appear closer together. The Society learned from the criticism and reaffirmed their commitment to accuracy over aesthetic value in their photography during the following years. In 1997, the Society partnered with Fox Channels to launch their own international channel to further immerse themselves in the developing medium of television. National Geographic has grown since then to span across 171 different countries and show in 45 different languages, exemplative of the Society's continuously growing platforms of exchange. One of the most prominent outreaches of the modern National Geographic Society is social media. The Society's Instagram is used to share its recognizable and influential photography across the globe. Since its launch, National Geographic's Instagram page has garnered over 50 million followers and surpassed 1 billion likes, becoming one of the most influential accounts on Instagram. Like if a photographer puts something on Instagram, it, it literally goes around the world almost instantaneously. As the world itself explores and invents new technologies, National Geographic latches onto each as a new opportunity to exchange knowledge across the world. From its inception, the influence of the National Geographic Society on the world has been far-reaching and often inspiring. In 1985, one of the Society's most iconic covers was published, depicting the mysterious and at the time unknown Afghan girl. The intensity of the girl's stare gave an incredibly emotional and unnerving visual that brought to greater light the humanitarian crisis of Afghan refugees during the 1980s. Seventeen years following the publication, Steve McCurry rediscovered this mysterious girl and identified her as Sharbat Gula. Through the National Geographic Society, Gula was able to express her concern regarding the education of girls and women in Afghanistan. In turn, National Geographic established the Afghan Girls Fund, an organization later renamed the Afghan Children's Fund. Through the credibility of National Geographic, the ability to explore and cause change globally has grown exceptionally. Geographic is pushing the boundaries in every area of human endeavor. Over 300 projects, including the expedition that discovered the sunken Titanic, have been funded by National Geographic. In the last decade, explorers have been able to delve into the most exotic parts of the world through funding from the society. Nat Geo is just such a long history of bringing stories with budgets that are so much bigger than all other magazines so they can get really in depth with stories and do projects over really long periods of time. In 2009, journalist Scott Wallace journeyed into the depths of the Amazon forest, encountering the existence of some of the last uncontacted tribes on the planet. Three years later, Brian Christie ventured into the African network of ivory trafficking in an effort to expose those profiting from the mechanized slaughter of elephants. Published as cover stories, both accounts drew greater attention to the issues they presented, generating global concern and bringing an increased cause for change. Whether it be humans, chimpanzees, or researchers and readers divided by geographical boundaries, the efforts of the National Geographic Society to exchange information across the globe have broken open the doors leading to vast opportunities of exploration that delve into the unseen portions of this diverse planet. You find out about faraway places that you knew nothing about by opening up the National Geographic. The Society's work continues to spark encounters between wide ranges of societies and cultures and unite the many different people of this world. Reminding us, the diversity of the Earth is only exemplified by how similar we all truly are. <laughs>